Hey Warrior Tribe, welcome to Your Coffee Questions Answered, where we take your questions about coffee, coffee culture, and abstract coffee related topics, dive down the rabbit hole, and try to give you a definitive-ish answer. For this inaugural episode, we're going to be answering the question, why is coffee called or referred to as Joe or a cup of Joe? There are multiple theories from boring old marketing to Navy sailors openly mocking their boss. So let's dive right in. So the first one does come to us from the Navy. The theory goes that Joseph Joe Daniels, who was appointed as Secretary of the Navy in 1913 by President Woodrow Wilson, banned serving alcohol on ships in 1914 with General Order 99. After that, supposedly sailors started calling their coffee Joe as a mock salute since directly insulting a superior officer is considered a bit of a no-no. There are, however, a few issues with this. First, and most significant, is that Navy ships had essentially been dry since 1862 when the Spirit Ration... I want a Spirit Ration for this company. We're going to have to make that happen when the spirit ration was abolished for all sailors and officers. Now, it was true that in 1893, officers were allowed to have a wine mess, and the order did put a stop to that. However, there are significantly less officers than sailors, both on ships and across the Navy as a whole. So it really stands to reason that the order simply brought the officers into compliance with the rules for the sailors, and was more likely than not seen as leveling the playing field not something that would have emboldened sailors to mock their boss. Just your average Joe. This, to my mind, is the most boring theory. It states that coffee had become so common in the 1930s and 40s that people started to call it a common name, Joe. Sometimes this is tied to the nickname for military men and calling them G.I. Joes. And they drank a lot of coffee to stay alert, so i.e. then calling it a cup of joe. This falls flat for a few reasons, which we'll dive into right away. The next is it's just pure marketing. Martinson Coffee, owned by one Joe Martinson, actually trademarked Cup of Joe at some point in their history. While the company was founded in 1898, I wasn't able to find a date for the trademark. My hunch is that the trademark came after the popularity so they could use it to sell more of their coffee. That brings us to our final theory, and this one comes to us from the Brits, because of course it does. As I dove down the rabbit hole that is their history of coffee, I inevitably bumped into a guy named Michael Quinion. This guy is a writer, linguist, and Cambridge grad. He postulates that the term Cup of Joe is a blending of the many different names people refer to coffee. Mocha, Java, then Jamoke, bringing us to Joe. This theory even has some real historical text to back it up. Again, from Quinion's research, citing the 1913 Reserve Officer's Manual, where a man named Erdman yeah, writes, quote, Jamoke, Java, Joe, coffee derived from the words Java and Mocha, where initially the best coffee came from, end quote. So this example makes a lot of sense. It's straightforward, it's recorded, and the British were literally everywhere, recorded everything, and were responsible for many of the customs, commodities, and parts of speech being shared with the world. So it does make sense that they would also bring us Cup of Joe. I mean, come on. Try saying it in a snooty British accent. Oh, Mel, would you bring me a cup of joe? Okay, that was awful, but you see how it works. Thank you very much. Uh, this is something that we're going to be doing, uh, putting out weekly. So please, if you have any coffee questions that you would like answered, uh, either leave them in the comments below. Is that how we do this? DM us on Instagram, or you can even email me directly, mark at warriorspiritcoffee.com. Again, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your tribe. I have to edit the shit out of this one. Let's see how many it is. Let's see how many takes this takes. Takes this takes. 
Yep. Boop. All right, we got this. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go. Okay.